there's that one family member that buys everyone's personalised gift, isn't there? Does it get more festive than this? I think not. Look how small they are. So cute. Oh, oh my gosh, hilarious. Merry Christmas! This is a little bit sad because I know that when this video goes up, Christmas is essentially over, but I don't want to start this video on a negative note. Happy Boxing Day. I hope you had the best Christmas that you possibly can in 2021. I really do. I would let you know how mine went, but I don't know. I can't see into the future. This is past me coming at you like some sort of crazy inception. Because my phone not vibrate when I'm in the middle of filming a video. It's just Chef Jeff reacting to one of my Instagram stories, no doubt it was a hilarious one. Bit of a different video for me today because I just thought it'd be fun to wrap my Christmas presents with you. It's two days before Christmas today, it's the 23rd of December. And I'm quite nosy, like I like seeing what people buy for other people. Like some families are like super bougie and buy their families like Chanel bags and like trips to Vegas and like other families do like Secret Santa and whatever it is that you do, love it, support you. I'm just really nosy and want to know. So I thought maybe I'll show you some of the bits that I picked up for my family. I have quite a small family so I only really buy for... Oh, shut up. I only really buy for Chef Jeff and then my sister, my mum, my brother-in-law and then they've got two kids. And then I've also got like a godson and my grandparents. So I don't actually have my grandparents' gift here. It hasn't arrived yet, but it's just a calendar that I get them every year with loads of pictures because they always insist that I don't buy them anything, but the calendar always bangs. So hopefully that's coming soon from Funky Pigeon. I just thought this would be fun and it would keep you feeling festive. So I hope you enjoy it. Please give it a like because I guarantee you are going to and subscribe because there are new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. I'm a terrible rapper, tell you, telling you that now. I am awful. I picked up this recyclable Percy Pig wrapping paper. So for the people who I think will enjoy that, they get the Percy Pig side. For the people who I think won't enjoy it, they get the stripey side. I've thought of everything, I know. Should we start with my mum? Hi Jill, I know you're watching this. You always watch my videos. Love you, thank you for a lovely Christmas. I hope we had a great day. <laughs> so I just got my mum like a couple of bits, starting with this Great British Bake Off official merchandise apron, because during lockdown my mum got really into baking and now she is great. I had to pre-order it. I think I pre-ordered it in like November and it came in on the 1st of December. So I've had this for a couple of weeks. But that is the neatest thing I've ever wrapped a present, genuinely. Like this looks like a professional has done it. But honestly, usually it looks like a child has wrapped it, but I'm actually super impressed with it. One present down, about 20 to go. If you follow my Instagram, you'll know that I always use Paige Cavill. She's like a little independent business and she does all the kind of Dalmatian print merch that I have. I bought my mum a new watch strap and they're like vegan leather. So they're really, really good for if you've got an Apple watch and they do loads of, well, she does loads of cool different designs. I've got a hair on my face, I got it. Let's wrap this in the stripey side. That's fun. Watch strap wrapped this is like a bit of an inside joke but not really but our family whatsapp group is called sunday club because we always hang out on a sunday and usually in the group we'll just discuss like who's getting the stuffing and like what kind of yorkshire puds we're gonna have that weekend so in urban actors there's a clothes brand called sunday club it's actually really nice they do like really cool oversized hoodies and stuff but they also do fun socks that say sunday club on it i bought a pair for everyone who's in the sunday club group so my mum my sister, my brother-in-law, me, and Chef Jeff. So yeah, I'm gonna have to wrap like five pairs of these, which will be fun. Who doesn't love receiving socks for Christmas? Am I right? Or am I right? Side note, if you were wanting to get me a Christmas present, then subscribe. It'll cost you nothing, and it'll be the best gift that I can have. I looked at my analytics, and it says something like, 60% of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed. I see you. I know you're here. I know you want to stay. Do me a solid. Subscribe. Okay, sockies wrapped. I'm looking forward to doing that another four times. This is just gorge. Oh my gosh, it's like the softest scarf ever. It's from Oliver Bonus. My mum loves green. She loves leopard print and this is just so warm and snuggly. And I think she's going to love it. I should wrap the kids next because on the chance that I've run out of Percy Pig paper, it would be very anticlimactic if all of the adults have Percy Pigs and all of the kids have like some lame like Christmas 
you know, trees on their wrapping paper. Like, it'd be good for anyone. The best part about this video is that you're not gonna see that it's taking me about 10 minutes to wrap this. It's just gonna look really seamless to you. But to me, it's like an absolute Everest climb. Scarf wrapped, so I've got my apron and my scarf and my watch strap and my sockies. And then lastly, for my mum in a little pile, 500 piece David Bowie jigsaw puzzle. My mum loves David Bowie, she also loves to puzzle. So when I saw that, this was from Urban Outfitters, I was like, that is great. Now this should be a nice easy one to wrap. She's so brilliant. My wrapping has been really good so far. Really impressed with myself. Okay, that is my mother done. She has a lovely pile of treats. You'd be so excited on Christmas Day if you received this, wouldn't you? Or am I just biased? Well, I think it looks great. Mum done. Right, I'm gonna do my niece and nephew. I'm outside. Wrap these together. Just a couple of little like stocking fillers for my niece. Dizzy Princess and Frozen Clips. If you've got a three-year-old in the family, especially a girl, then you will be nodding along right now saying yes. She will enjoy opening those. I also bought her some Vejas. I got her some for Christmas last year, but obviously she's a three-year-old and grew out of them probably in like August time, which was fine. The other ones I got her were like a dark red and pink color. And I saw these, I thought they were a beautiful color. Look how small they are, so cute. And hopefully these will last her until like summer again. They actually do look quite big, but my sister told me their shoe sizes. So Rachel, if you're watching this, I hope you didn't mug me off. But I just think it's a nice gift because obviously they'll get loads of toys and it's just nice to have a nice pair of like shoes. I think I got her a um, Alexa last year. Hilarious, she, she loves it. Hmm, I don't have an answer for that. Trainers wrapped, clips. The last thing I got her is she needs a new dressing gown and this one has a penguin on it and it has her name on it. It's from my first year, so it's do really good kids' um, toys and presents. The Vajas were from Kidly, another banging website for kids' toys and presents. How the blimmin' heck am I gonna wrap this? Okay, dressing gown wrapped, Vajas wrapped, and the little clippies. That is my mum and my niece done. I'm gonna do my neck and neck. On a similar note, I got him a pair of Converse. He is only one. He's very cute. And how cute are these? They're just like so cute and small. And they're just like really handy to have. So he can have some cute shoes because he's just started walking. So he's gonna look like a badass, a badass little bro in these. My mum just texted me saying the queue for the turkey is a two hour wait. Two hours. Craziness. This is a dreadful wrap, but luckily he is one, so we'll probably appreciate it. Yeah, so I got him the Converse and then I also got him a like a water bottle with a straw, because when you're that age, you're just like, you know, suck through a straw. My sister actually asked me if I could get him a little water bottle so I, with a straw, so I picked this one with a really cute little penguin on it. And I also got this from Kidly. Okay, that's the, that's my present for my nephew, so the bottle and the Converse all wrapped. And now I'm gonna do, so I basically, my, one of my best friends, I am godparent to her son. She also has a little girl as well, like a new, new little baby. So I got them both pajamas because I just think pajamas are a fantastic gift. And I saw these and they were just so cute for the little baby girl. And they've got like Dalmatian print on it. I got these from Mango, but they just look like a really cute fit. So because I got those, I thought maybe I'll just get pajamas for my godson as well. So I got um, his on Kidly and I don't want to like, un fold them because they've come all nice and folded, but they've got dinosaurs on them. Can't go wrong with a good quality pair of pajamas. Ones that will last you, ones that you can throw up all over. If I ever have a little girl, or if I ever have a child in general, I just can't wait to like dress them in like really cute pajamas and stuff, or like matching pajamas. So cute. Also, most of the time, Holly does watch my videos, so how cute if you're watching. You can see the behind the scenes, me wrapping these gifts. Okay. Two pairs of pajamas for my godson and my godson's sister, duh. Should we do my sister or Jeff? Let's do my sister because I want to use the Percy Pig wrapping paper for her. She did ask me for like a couple of things, so I've got her a couple of things that she mentioned or asked for. One of them was this 
She wants the small chilies bottle. How nice is this? Obviously you can't feel it, but it's like 3D. <laughs> that makes no sense, but it like feels really nice. So that's really cute. Sometimes you don't want to take like a big clunky water bottle out and it came with this like weird clip on contraption. Or maybe I'll stick it in here. Yeah. Oh, pissing hell. Like this is the, this is when if you had three arms, that would just be idyllic. She also asked for, you know, when you're like dividing your hair up to straighten it or curl it, she says she always uses like a scrunchie and it's really annoying. So I bought her the Beauty Works Molly May set of beautiful white and white gold clippies. Um, and then I got her, oh, where is it? I wear this bangle, this one. Can you see, can you see? I bought her the silver version so we can be besties. Cute, little, little one. Looking cute so far. I do really like to try and support like small businesses at this time of year. Like obviously pick up a lot of mainstream things like the Chili's bottle and the Converse and whatnot. But I do love this brand called Big Wild Thought. Looks like this. And they basically sell these banging sweatshirts and you know, like they donate their profits to wildlife charities and things like that, which is so cool. So I've got one which is pink with the elephant on it. So I got her the khaki with the elephant on it, which is just lush like, and the quality is amazing. So see if you can get a better look at the jumper. It's like a really nice khaki color and it's got the elephant on it and it's just be really nice for, you know, not around the house or wherever you want to wear it really. Lovely. Yeah, throw back to my retail days. That looks lovely. Hat on the back for me. I'm a little bit overwhelmed now, space-wise due to all the gifts. A complete side note, but we have these for Christmas day. How bougie, Jeff bought them in John Lewis. They're like gin and tonic crackers. What a time to be alive. And I do like to get gifts that people will actually use, like practical gifts, like that water bottle, the clips, she will use those. Even like my mum with the apron and the scarf and the puzzle, like she will use them. I guarantee it. Like novelty gifts, they're just a waste of money. Like ha ha, and then you just go back to never using it again. I'm having a very festive day doing my wrapping, and then I'm also going to a Christmas light show tonight, which will be really fun and festive. Christmas day I'm having with, at my mum's, with just my sister and Jeff and my brother-in-law and the kids. And we're gonna pop over to my grandparents to have festive lunch, okay. We are doing well, that's my sister's so far. And then she's also got a pair of the Sunday Club socks, obviously. So let's wrap these. I feel like I've tactically saved Chef Jeff until last because that's probably who you're most looking forward to seeing because who doesn't love seeing what you know, couples buy each other on Christmas, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna do my brother-in-law really quickly first though because I've just got him a bottle of Nordez gin. He's a gin fanatic and even though he has lots of gin, we had this gin on holiday this year in Mallorca. It's really hard to get anywhere so I got this, I actually ended up getting it on Amazon. If you're a gin lover, get yourself a bottle of Nordez gin, it is banging. And of course, a pair of Sunday Club socks. So I'm gonna wrap this up and then I'll wrap Jeff's gifts. And I am happy with his gifts, but you have a really fully really satisfied that like you always want to buy more, don't you? The fun thing will be digging out everyone's individual socks and getting everyone to open them at the same time, you know? What a hoot we will have. I think that's why I'm so bad at wrapping. I lack patience. So I think it was better to start with because I was like taking my time and now I'm like paper on, sellotape on. It's lunchtime. I want to eat. Okay, brother-in-law done. Gin and sockies. Can you beat it? Not really. Okay, last but not least, I'm gonna wrap Jeffrey's gifts. Stocking fillers, if you will. Got him some, just some of the My Protein Hotel Chocolat collab, because nothing says Christmas like protein and hotel chocolat, you know? Does it get more festive than this? I think not. And some pre-workout. Cause that's the kind of guy he is. So I'll wrap up his little My Protein hamper treats first. Okay, that's the My Protein Treats wrapped. There's like three little bits to open then, which is fun. Next, I got him a great gift this Christmas. 
videos to see myself. I listened to this on audiobook during lockdown and it's really, really good. And I think Jeff will really enjoy it. And it's just nice to have something to read, you know, before you go to bed. Oh, my OCD, which I don't have, is really gonna kick in at the fact that everything is wrapped in this wrapping paper bar like two of Jeff's gifts. It's all about what's underneath, isn't it? Underneath the paper. I can see a lot of your gifts right now. Um, would you like to say anything to the vlog? We may as well wrap his uh, Sunday Club socks while we're here as well. Jeff actually loves a pair of socks, so this is an exciting gift for him. What's going on, Bloomies? What an idiot. I also just want to let you know that I would have had the perfect amount of wrapping paper to wrap every single one of my gifts had you not stolen it. So we've got the socks, we've got the chocolate, we've got the protein bars, we've got the pre-workout, we've got the book. And then I got a hoodie. I got him the Essentials Fear of God hoodie. I don't know, you won't be able to see it. I don't want to take it out of its packaging, but it's in like the kind of olive color. I'll try and put a photo of it on the screen, but it's basically his main present because they are rather expensive. Jeff does like a hoodie. Actually, it's the same color, so it could be a lot worse. I'm gonna leave this in the duster bag so it like stays a bit nice. But also I wanna borrow it, so it's just kind of like, I'll buy it for you, but basically I am gonna wear it. So that is the hoodie wrapped. Let me put this in his little pile. The last thing I got for him was from Drew House, Justin Bieber's brand. I got these ages ago and with shipping again. Ridiculous. Sicko slippers. And fun fact, I bought a pair for myself. I bought myself the lilac pair and they've been sitting in my wardrobe and I've just been wanting to wear them for literally like six weeks. But I thought that could be a little Christmas present to myself and we'd be matching. And Jeff doesn't have slippers and these ones are really nice and like really comfortable. And he loves Justin Bieber. I think I really like these. They're like a fun little surprise present. This is our last little guy. I'm gonna wrap it in the same paper actually because I can save the final Percy Pig for the infamous calendar, which is not here. There's always that one family member that buys everyone's personalized gift, isn't there? All right, let's wrap these slippers. And then we can wrap up this. Ha! Oh my gosh, hilarious. We can wrap up this video just like I've been wrapping up the gifts. There's a pen if ever I heard one. Oh. Slippers done, last one done. And I'm pleased to say that that's a wrap. Okay, that is everything done and I'm literally drowning in gifts. So I'm gonna put these under the tree and then I'm gonna go to the Christmas light show and then tonight I'm making Jeff like a surprise dinner and I'm making steak and camembert, like I bought fillet steaks and I bought camembert. I'm gonna go out and get some like bougie bread. So I hope you enjoyed this video and like seeing what I got for my family members. Like I like watching videos like this. I thought maybe you would enjoy it. It'd be a little bit of a festive one to post on Boxing Day. So anyway, if you did enjoy it, please give it a like because it really helps my channel, which is new. It really helps the algorithm and need all the help that I can get. I upload new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. So please subscribe. It'll be the best Christmas gift you can give. And I look forward to seeing you in my next one, which I'm not sure exactly when it'll be. It'll probably be a little bit disjointed this week, but either way, I look forward to seeing you in my next one and hope you stick around for 2022. Okay, love you. Bye.